Hi everyone, good day. My name is Edges Morian C. Donke and today I am going to show you the 7 essential knots. When we say essential, it means to say it is important. Meaning to say that these knots are very or really important for you to know because you can use this for survival. And of course, the thing that we need to have is a rope. You can use a twine or in abaca, but as for me, since this is the only available rope, I am going to use this. This is called jute. So let us start. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to make is the square knot. So square knot is very basic and it is very important. It is very important for you to learn how to make this because this is usually applied in bandaging. Okay, so we have the rope here and this is the end of the rope. What we are going to do is we, we are going to tie this with each other. So the first thing is right, right over the left. And then, left over the right. So, this is the square knot. Very basic and very essential. Okay, next is the clove hitch. So for the clove hitch, we need this one to emphasize our knot. And then, of course, the rope. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is we are going to twist like this. And then, twist again. And then, the second twist must go to the front. And... Like, just like that and we are going to insert it in our this one like a pipe I'm going to put it here and there here is our clove hitch this is very essential and really easy to undo and it is usually used for climbing there okay so next thing is the sheet bend the very basic sheet bend so to make the sheet bend we need two ropes Ayan. so sheet bends are usually used in boat Boating, sailing, outdoors, and indoors. So I'm going, now I'm going to show you. So we have like this. And we are going to insert it from below. And then wrap it around. Wrap it around. And insert it from the inside. And then pull. So this is the sheet bend. So this is the sheet bend. And to make it more stronger, we can just do it like this and do another. Just like that. So this is the double sheet bend. Okay, so the next thing or the next knot that we are going to make is the bow line. Bow line is very important. It's very essential. You can use this type of knot when you're in the boat, sailing, outside and inside our home. So first is we have this. And we are going to twist it just like that. And the twist is just like that. 
and we are the loose end will be inserted at the bottom and then around wrap around and then insert it again and this will be our bow line Okay, so the fifth knot that we are going to make is the figure 8 loop. So the figure 8 loop is usually used during climbing. You can also use this when you're sailing or outdoor or inside your home. Okay, so we have one rope here. We will start with a bite and place it over your two fingers. Wrap it around. Just like that and then remove it from your fingers and go under and insert it to the eye and then pull just like this so as you can see it forms a number eight Okay, and now we will proceed to the round turn plus two and a half each. So we need the pipe and the rope. Okay, so the first is we are going to do this. We will start with this and we will wrap the loose end. One. Then after that, we're going to insert it beneath and then back. And this would be our round turn. And in order for you to make the two and a half feet, you will have to do that again. So that's it. This is our round turn and second half feet. Okay, so lastly is the tout line hitch. Tout line hitch is usually used in boating, sailing, outside, and of course, inside our house. So we need the pie for anything that you can handle and a rope. Okay, so first is we are going to make a loop. And then make two passes. same direction, we are going to make another loop here and then make one pass it or pass it just like that. You will know if it is correct, if it's easy to adjust. Just like that. Very easy to loosen and tighten. This is our pipe outline hitch. So that's it guys. I already showed you the 7 essential knots. I hope you learned something in this video and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye!